Thanks, Winston. Appreciate it. Hey, guys, my name is Matt Lewis. I'm the founder and CEO of Common Edits, which is an open source music platform for independent artists and fans. Now, can I get a quick show of hands? Uh, how many people in the audience enjoy listening to music? Cool. You, all right, excellent. Gotcha. OK. Um, right, so, so music is the spark of life. It helps uh, enhance all of our experiences. Whether you're, you're getting pumped up to, to work out or, or make love, it, uh, it, it taps into an extra gear in, inside of our soul, which is why it's a shame that the music that we're getting today is so processed. It's, it's made for mass consumption, and it lacks any nutritional value. Basically, we're listening to the McDonald's or the, or the Donald Trump of music, where there's, there's not a lot of substance, uh, substance behind it. Right? So what I want to listen to is the stuff that's growing organically around me, the stuff that'll help me grow as a person, not this processed McMusic that we're currently listening to. So why isn't this organic music making it to the mainstream today? Well, to start, there's 30 million aspiring artists, and it's just impossible for everybody to monitor the dozens of platforms that these artists are promoting their music on. So Common Edits aims to curate that content so fans will be able to find stuff that they, they like. So Common Edits, it's an open source music platform that provides the tools that independent artists need to become cash flow positive. And we provide an interactive listening experience for members so that they can help curate content. Basically, we remove the barriers of entry and all the bloat for the music industry. So the, the fundamentals behind Common Edit starts with our embed player. And this is no normal, normal embed player. There's a lot going on under the hood. What we're doing is we're recording every stream, we're recording every download, every member vote, uh, every social media share. Anything that brings value to Common Edits or the musician, we're allocating it into an algorithm and it'll help us curate the content a lot like, say, a Reddit homepage would do. So the big draw to bring people, to bring artists into Common Edits is our open source music contest. Basically, basically we'll provide an instrumental that an artist can download, record their vocals on, and then re-upload where they'll get an embed player. Then as the fans interact, uh, whoever has the best data will end up winning the, the contest. In our first contest, we, we ended up getting a feature with Project Pat. He did half a song, and so now there was a space available for somebody else to, uh, to rap on top of it, and it went, it went crazy, right? So uh, the way that we keep them, because that's a, that's a very like, uh, one-sided interaction, very single interaction. So the way that we keep them is once they come to the site, we provide them with uh, open source collaboration. So we have a, a library of a 1,000 instrumentals, whether it's hip-hop, whether it is K-pop, whether it is country music. Uh, we provide these instrumentals so that anybody can interact and even collaborate with other artists. So uh, during the Collide Village program, which we just completed, we interviewed over 300 artists. And we found the ones that were cash flow positive followed a very clear path in order to get there. And it was production, licensing, marketing, and distribution. Uh, half the artists that we talked to just got lost on the licensing aspect. So Common Edits aims to be the full vertical of support for all of these artists. Not only that, we treat them like lean startups and, and because we, we don't uh, have them spend money until they prove the traction to get to the, the next level. So our revenue model. Uh, a lot of artists, they, they just want to interact and, and do it for free. They just want to give away their music. So we utilize Creative Commons license to do that. Uh, hence the name Common Edits. It's edits with Creative Commons licensing. For people who are looking to distribute their music and, and sell their music, we have a $20 monthly subscription fee, which anything that you upload to Common Edits will automatically have licensing, will automatically be published. And if you prove traction, we'll send it out to, to all the major distribution platforms. If you lack the ability to, um, to record your own music, if you need to book a studio, we allow that to happen through Common Edits. And if you prove out traction, your songs will automatically make it to iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, and YouTube. So revenue. Pretty much as soon as we started A-B testing, we, we brought in revenue. And this was in November. And so for five straight months, we've had on average 120% month-over-month growth. And appreciate it. Thank you. And I mean, knock on wood, in March we might even be cash flow positive, um, but that is, we'll, we'll get there when we, we get there. Uh, another thing to mention is that um, f throughout March and April, we're going to continue to bootstrap our growth internally. Uh, in March, we're going to launch at South by Southwest, and then in April, we're running the first ever music track for Dallas Startup Week. Thank you. 
So the team that is running this is Jeremy Luhan. He's a full stack developer. He's been doing this for awesome, 10 fantastic. Years. And Matt Lewis, hardest working man in show business here. Thank you. That was great. All right, Q and A. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's where this first started. So it looks like um, that's a widget that they could place on their own website, and then there's an upvote, downvote similar to Reddit. How are you going to restrict that? Are they going to have to become members of your site? So is it kind of like SoundCloud, but then if they want to vote, then they have to register? Or how are you going to prove that, that someone's not playing you? Only members can vote. If you're a non-member, you can share it via social media, you can buy it, or you can stream it, and those will count as votes. The only ones who get an actual up and down vote are members of the, of the site. Also, SoundCloud, by the way, they allowed copywritten music on their site, which is the reason they're not profitable. We completely stay away of that, from that. In, in order to not get sued by the major uh, record labels, which uh, SoundCloud paid them $22 million last year, and they're going to keep doing that, uh, we completely stay away from copywritten music. Do you have plans to get into merch? Absolutely. Phase two. And, and uh, so merch, uh, as these artists uh, upload their their songs, uh, they'll get a profile page. On this profile page, here's all the songs, you can buy them, here's any merch that they want to add to it, and we could be sort of a drop ship uh, for them come phase two. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, I have the mic. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, okay, so I, I heard vocals um, and, and guitar, is that is that the only thing right now, or if, if I play, uh, a mandolin and I want to go add a mandolin track to something. Can I do that? How, how is that? How is that built into this? So system? there's current open source platforms right now where if you have a uh, one person can do the drums, one person can do the, the mandolin, one person can do the next, but once it's done those songs don't go anywhere. So we we focus on radio friendly stu stuff that can actually get out there, uh, but for someone like you if you have a full band that's ready with an instrumental, uh, absolutely upload that to our, so uh, our website and we'll provide uh, the, uh, the vocalist to, to sing on top of it. Yeah, you mentioned you're going to stay away from copyrighted music. How are you going to deal with sampling? Sampling. So, no samples. Unfortunately, we, we just can't do it. Uh, in order to operate outside of, of what's currently going on, the ecosystem, we have to be completely free of samples and any copyrighted music. So, a little confused, is this crowdsourced music creation as well, or just a platform of distribution? It is user-generated content, it is fan-curated content, and yeah, it's, it's all made by the fans. Basically, we're like a canvas and letting these people uh, put their art up there. So, it's one person making it, it's not like multiple people using the Well, you got, you got one producer, you got one vocalist, maybe you got two vocalists. By the time a song's done, multiple Common Edits members will be involved in it. And if you can go to commonedits.com and enter your email address, we'll, we'll provide you with information on how you can interact, whether you're a fan or whether you're an artist. Also, if you go to bit.ly forward slash common edits, you can go to our Kickstarter, and if you donate as little as one dollar, you can help a local artist uh, maintain some, uh, some studio time. And it'll go a long way to, to help uh, show that Dallas stands behind their musicians and their entrepreneurs. Kickstarter campaign. So it launched this morning. We got like $34 on it, so we got a long way to go. Woo! Right? It's, uh, so it's going to end the last day of startup week, so I expect all of you guys to promote it. Unless there's another music startup here that's, uh, that's doing a little better, uh, you know, hopefully we can, we can get it going by, by mid-April. Time for one more question, anybody? All right, thanks a lot. Cool, appreciate it. Okay, up next we have